Okay, so in this video, we're going to take the EPUB book that we generated in a previous video and we're going to upload that ebook into the lulu.com website. Now, for those of you who don't know what lulu.com is, this is a great website and it's like a distribution channel website where they will take your ebook and distribute that ebook to Barnes and Noble, iBookstore, and uh, Amazon Kindle, and others. Okay, so it's a great way to basically upload once and then let the Lulu.com distribute your book to all the other websites. Okay, so if you haven't already registered for a free account to Lulu, then uh, go ahead and do that. Um, I've already got an account in Lulu and I'm already logged in, as you can see here and these are all my books now for privacy purposes I'm not showing you my books because uh, frankly I don't want too much competition okay and these books are doing pretty well so anyway that's why I blanked them out so I do apologize for that but I'm sure you'll understand okay so let's get started the first thing you need to do to upload your book is to click on the publish tab so let's go ahead and do that and then click on the ebooks option here okay and then click on the I'm ready to publish okay and now there's a whole bunch of questions that we'll need to answer the first question is the working title now this is really really important you must set this working title to be exactly the same that you have in the metadata of your book. So if I bring up the ultimate ebook creator where we created this book, and by the way, we are going to be publishing this book. With, this is a real book that I've created, or my I should say my son has created. His name is Kishan, and it's an interactive sports uh, trivia book. And this one happens to be in the Major League Baseball uh, context, right? So this is our book title that we specified in our book information. So we must we must set this title. So I'm just going to copy this. I go back to Lulu, and then I'm going to right click and paste. So this title must match the metadata title that I just showed you in your ebook. Okay, author is Kishan Mystery and now down here we are going to select the third option which is sell on Lulu, iBookstore, Barnes and Noble and more okay and then this thing really just says that you know do you have an ebook formatted and make sure everything is good so we'll just go and click on yes I'm ready okay and then click save and continue okay and now for assigning the ISBN number I always select the first option which is the get a free ISBN from Lulu and this is probably the best option for most of us so we'll leave that and we'll click save and continue okay and it tells you this is your ISBN number and they already emailed it to your email so you don't have to really uh, keep a note of that okay now this section here basically asks you to upload your EPUB file. So we're going to click on Browse, MLB, and our ebook is this ebook here, Sports MLDB Quiz Book. Now, here's another, another uh, trick or another little tip that I can tell you is that you should also name your ebook exactly the same as the metadata title that you specified right over here okay so this title is sports MLD MLB quiz book and this is also sports MLB quiz book okay so we'll select that and then what we'll do is we'll click open so here's our file and now we're gonna click upload now this is where all the magic happens and as it's uploading let me tell you that 99% of the ebooks fail at this point because the ebooks are not well formatted 
and a lot of people have a lot of problems and then they have to go and tweak the book or they have to go and you know get somebody to fix it but luckily if you're using the ultimate ebook creator well I've gone through all the headache of basically fixing up all the um, nuances of the EPUB standard as it's applied to lulu.com because remember lulu.com does use an older standard for some reason because I think Barnes and Noble does as well and therefore some of the books they don't validate 100% in, in Lulu but they may validate 100% in the EPUB online uh, website where we can check the EPUB book. So right now it's uploading it takes a few seconds and voila here your file has been added to your ebook successfully okay so this is when you see this green band you know that you're good to go and your ebook is 100% perfect and here is your ebook okay so we click save and continue okay so in this next section it's gonna basically give you your table of contents and it's gonna basically tell you that you know make sure that your TOC is correct and if we look down here our TOC is correct and therefore we are gonna just scroll down and click save and continue now this is where a lot of people find it difficult they don't really know what to do most people will have their own book cover and I really recommend that you have your own book cover now here is a little bit of a hint see they've already prepared a book cover or initialized a book cover for you to start with and if you've noticed here the title of the book is right up here and it's exactly the same as the title that we specified in our information for for the title and here is the author's name so this here's another tip when you create your ebook cover you must must make sure that the title of the book matches the metadata title that you have in your um, in your ebook in here like like I said once again they all have to match okay and the author must be matched with this author here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on backgrounds and pictures okay because I want to upload my own uh, ebook cover which I've already created okay so I'm going to edit on the picture and then it's a, I, it says here use a different file which is what I want to do so I'll click on this and then it says upload a file okay now let's go back here let's go again see it says here current picture gallery size is 2588 by 3375 okay stretch to fit use this image okay so let's just click on use a different file and then I'm gonna upload okay and then over here I'm gonna click on browse and I already have a file made up here called sports MLB quiz book so I'm gonna click on that I see a little picture of it now I'll click open and then I'll click upload okay so there you have it it's actually uploaded the file and if you've noticed my file or my ebook cover has the same title as the metadata and it also has the author's name this is extremely important if your image doesn't have these two pieces of information then it's gonna fail okay so please please make sure that your ebook cover title matches the metadata and the author must be on the page as well, on the e-cover as well click accept and if you scroll up here is the book now over here we need to get rid of this text and this text here we don't need it because it's part of our e-cover so we'll click on text and then here we'll uncheck the show title so now the title is gone will uncheck the show author so this little guy over here will disappear as well okay so that's gone because we already have this on our
Facebook cover. Now click Make Image. And then, once it's finished, click Save and Continue. OK, now here's the other thing. Now we need to be really careful and be diligent on how and what we select for the category. So for this one, because this is a sports related book, I'm going to go for sports and adventure. Okay, and the keywords, what I'll do is I'll take the keywords which I've already got here from my keyword list from my ebook. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch all these in, separated by a comma. There you go. So that's my keywords. Now I'll go back to my ebook again and then I'm going to copy and paste my description exactly the way it is. The same description I'm going to paste into here. Okay. And the language. Okay, so language is English. And uh, copyright. So we're just going to put Kishan Mystery again. And license. So for the license we are going to create a standard copyright license okay it's just we just want to keep it simple standard copyright license and edition we'll just call it first edition okay just in case you might update this so it may become a second edition uh, in the future okay click and continue okay so it says there was a problem creating your work please correct the areas in red so Please limit each keyword to three terms. Okay, so what do I have here? I've got sports MLB quiz book, right? So I will just take away the book from here. And I think everything else should be fine. Click continue. Okay, and now for the price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the price to around two dollars and four cents that's what I normally do but two dollars and four cents and if we set this price this thing is telling us that your revenue per sale on Lulu will be 95 cents and everywhere else will be a dollar 29 okay so let's just click K so here is our book and um, we'll click so we can review the book, we can review the price, we can review all these things and if we're not too happy we can always go back and uh, edit our options but I think everything looks good here so I'm going to click finish, save and finish and there you go. Now here if you want to share your book on Facebook or Twitter then you can go through these options but for now let's keep things simple so we'll just uh, click on the X to get out of that and there you go um, we have our book and now here it tells you that you've successfully published your book but of down here if you have a look here you can actually upload a preview of the book so if you've created a very simple preview of the same book um, basically the way you do that is you can strip down the whole book and just keep the first you know like a couple of chapters or whatever and just to give the user a bit of a taste of your book and um, if they like it then they'll purchase it but to keep things in simple we'll just you know we won't worry about this right now and um, and that's it we're we're actually done okay and um, over here what we have is our ebook now I just want to show you one more thing okay so let's click on manage and right now if you take a look at this this shows that the book has been submitted to the iBook store as well as Barnes and Noble and the status is pending this process usually takes about three weeks okay so really be be patient and um, once this book has been processed um, Lulu will send you an email and if there's any problems with the book Lulu will tell you about that and then you can always go in and 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 start tweaking or changing things or correcting things but this process will take around three weeks okay so anyway we'll come back in three weeks time hopefully and um, we'll see that these books have been accepted by 
by Barnes and, Barnes and Noble and the iBookstore. Hey guys, it's Nitin here and it's been about three weeks and I just wanted to quickly show you uh, the ebook that we created and how it's doing. So here's the ebook Sports MLB Quiz Book and if we go into the Manage section okay so now you can see that it's been listed in the iBook store and also the NOC. So there you go. Um, that's what I wanted to show you. It usually takes about three weeks and sometimes it may take a little bit less than that but on average it's about three weeks so um, you need to have a little bit of patience but the good news is that because the ultimate ebook creator creates these uh, Lulu EPUB books perfectly um, you will not have to revise your book so that was it that was the uh, video and hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one